one to two drinks a day indicate you're smarter? Let's talk drinks. And when I say drinks, I mean alcohol, and not coffee or juice or anything like that. Well, that is according to a Lumosity blog, but that doesn't give us the green light to just go drink. But what it does do is offer us a new perspective, a new lens to look at the drinkers among us. Which is great because it's just in time for St. Patrick's Day. So let's dive into the effects of alcohol on cognition before we jump the gun and start celebrating St. Patrick's Day with enthusiasm. St. Patrick! <laughs> Lumosity, have you ever heard of it? It's kind of like a gym membership, but for your brain, your noggin. You see, our brains are much like elastic bands. The more exercise, the more cognitive exercise that we do, the more flexible they become. But if we don't, Let's just say our brains become stiff, just like an athlete who didn't exercise or warm up. Because just like our bodies, our brains are the same. If we don't use it, we lose it. You see, our brain's elasticity actually dwindles over time, and there's not much we can do about it. That's kind of why you always hear people say, an old dog can't learn new tricks, because it's just harder to learn new tricks. When your brain isn't, you know, as quick as it used to be, it's not as strong as it once was. So let's talk about something we do have have some control over. We all have control over the choices we make, and the choices we make once we grow older sort of have commonalities. For example, once you turn 21 in America, the commonality there is you're most likely gonna drink. You're gonna drink because it's America's pastime. And while it's a pastime for many, the Scots and Irish men still think they have us beat. But have they seen our festivities? All right. Let's swivel our way back to the Lumosity blog post. Lumosity, the brain exercise app, conducted a survey and presented the results in a blog post. And I'll include that link below because they've cooked up some delicious little nuggets of knowledge for us that I want to share with you. Did you know that on St. Patrick's Day, beer sales actually increase 1.5 times the usual amount? You see, folks around the world like to drink and be merry in the community. They do this to celebrate, not necessarily the death of of the saint, but more or less the life of the saint. But ultimately, it is a social celebration after all. In fact, tens of millions of pints of Guinness are sold each St. Patrick's Day. People consume 4.2 times as much alcohol on St. Patrick's Day as any other day of the year. It's said that 13 million pints are actually sold worldwide. So, this is an exclusively an American thing, and brains, well, they also work very similarly across the world. So, when Lumosity conducted this survey to explore the correlation between cognitive performance and lifestyle, I, I was interested. That That's great. I'm very curious about how our brain works, especially as it comes to cultural norm. The survey gathered health and lifestyle data from its users. That's right, Lumosity asked its users. These are brain exercise app havers. And luckily for us, Lumosity has a pretty robust user population of millions of people worldwide. Participants were asked about their daily alcohol consumption in the survey. Based on the survey results, they compared the game results. Lumosity chose three popular games to score, and they took those results and compared them against the lifestyle and health data they accumulated. These games were chosen specifically. Why, you might be asking. Well, each one of these games actually have a specific cognitive ability it targets. So, speed match, memory matrix, and range draw all have a sort of targeted cognitive ability it's looking to expand and develop. These games target things like spatial recall, information processing, and numerical calculation. And the data analysis revealed some pretty interesting findings. The highest performers of all three games reportedly drank one to two drinks a day. Yeah, they outperformed those who never drink. It is important to note that performance, especially the highest performers, drastically changed once the alcohol consumption reached over two drinks a day. <laughs> the top performers did report drinking one to two drinks a day, but correlation does not equal causation. And I will say that with my chest. <laughs> Listen, the drinks might not be boosting their performance. No one is saying alcohol is a performance enhancer. <laughs> Unless the performance is social interactions, in which case maybe libations might help you drop your guard down. Which leads me to actually why someone who drinks one to two drinks a day might actually be performing better better in these games. And I think the answer is pretty simple. I think it's social engagement. You see, social engagement is actually really good for the brain. Going outside and touching grass, going outside of your 
comfort zone, right? Or whatever. Going outside in general is just good for your brain. You see, when we drink alcohol, our inhibitions can drop. And what that does is our guards can drop and we become a bit more vulnerable, a little bit more loosey goosey. And what if I told you our brains actually learn best when our guard is dropped, when we feel a little bit safer? Why? You might be asking. Well, it's kind of simple. Think about it this way. When you're safe, that is when you're more willing to take intellectual risks. And that's when the learning happens. Simply put, social and collaborative learning is a powerful tool, and social drinkers just get to flex their brain muscles more. This is probably why they performed better in the survey. All of this is to say, drink responsibly, folks, and don't forget to exercise your brains. Our brains are muscles, and St. Patrick's Day is more than just a holiday for drinking. <laughs> it's about community, it's about celebration, and honestly, lumosity on St. Patrick's Day while drinking with friends and family sounds like a really fun way to spend it. I don't know, I'm probably the biggest nerd ever. Anyway, that's all I got. Big shout out to Lumosity for the blog post that got us thinking today, and please, please be safe out there on St. Patty's Day. That's it from me. Bye!